that's just one of the structures that was destroyed by the Lind fire. We talked to one resident who had a close call and said he felt very lucky his home was spared. And you got the high winds, it could have easily carried over. Sparks could have carried over. Blackened landscape surrounds Vernon Shepherd's home on the south side. Just up the hill from him, some neighbors lost it all, with homes and other buildings reduced to rubble. I feel really bad for people that did get. I know some guys that lost a lot. The smoldering remains of some houses sit just hundreds of feet from Vernon's property. His son was home alone when the fire broke out, capturing some images of the fire on video. I just shot a drone and I was looking at the fire as it was coming towards us. That time the fire was coming down the hill. Both Vernon and Merrick rushed to get the family's four dogs, ducks, geese and chickens ready to be evacuated. I was kind of worried for my animals and stuff. Vernon says the gravel around his house served as a buffer. Twice where we ran up there with the garden hose putting it out. He says fire crews were also quick to respond. It was wind driven and really hard to rough terrain um, to get to. The fire chief says Friday morning crews were still monitoring hot spots. He says the rainy spring helped to grow lots of fuel for the fire to feed on with 25 mile per hour winds pushing the flames into now charred properties. He praised firefighters for saving what they could. Volunteer firefighters are amazing. Um, like I said, from we had units from probably the surrounding 60 miles. Meantime, power crews have been working all night to change out burnt power poles and restore power to the town of about 500. The owner of the Wheat Lind Coffee House says she was working at her second job when the fire broke out. It is heartbreaking. Yeah, I didn't know. I don't know a lot of people, but just seeing it and seeing the home go up in flames. She offered water and refreshments to those who were working on recovery efforts Friday. I decided to offer free coffee and drinks to the firefighters, EMS and the Avista workers today and it'll go on until the local community has been served. You know, I just a small thing that I could do. Heather says that's one of the reasons she likes working and living in a small town. You're welcome. The sense of community. They organized water, um, supplies, everything for the firefighters and the people affected. There was one local firefighter that was treated for smoke inhalation in Spokane. We're told he is back home and doing just fine and is now currently resting. Reporting in Lynn, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.